Right now what he's doing is just a prep. He's just prepping the samples. Right now he's just vortexing. These are actual samples from patients who may have the coronavirus. And this is the reason why he's doing it under the hood. So we have to make sure that we, we do it properly, not aerosolize. And that's the reason why you saw Javon being um, doing it under the BSL. I mean, under the, uh, the biosafety cabinet. As of yesterday, the county lab is now fully equipped to look for the virus. I would think this is really very significant. 120 microliters and transfer it to that small uh, tube. The number of cases tested per day will vary based on demand. Today, they were testing just four samples. But with the coronavirus also being called COVID-19, expected to spread in the U.S., the county is ready to scale up. We have the capability, we have the capacity, and um, whatever is needed to be done, I think we're going to be able to do. The county can now have coronavirus test results in as little as 24 hours, and that speed can help save lives. Five days was about average. That's how long County Public Health Officer Dr. Wilma Wooten says it took the CDC to get results back to them before. Faster testing now means if a case does appear, officials can quickly begin to see who else may be infected. It absolutely does uh, help with a contact investigation. County health officials are monitoring hundreds of people considered to be at a moderate risk for the virus. A decision to test or not comes after someone showing signs of the virus is taken to a local hospital. And then that provider calls our health department and then uh, have the consultation with our uh, staff here, and we also involve the CDC. And that decision is made collectively as to whether to test or not. We haven't really seen anything from, you know, like a local. Out of the dozen or so tests examined by the county lab so far, none have come back positive. But to double check, samples are also being sent to federal health officials. We have to send them to CDC for further testing and confirmation. The county is following CDC guidelines for all COVID-19 testing. The process is very similar to testing for the flu. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.